In this film we're looking at the download button options uh, in a gallery. So let's get straight into it. We're just going to come up here to the top left hand side and hit on the uh, create and click on to gallery. And I'm just going to uh, put a few photographs in here for you to see. So if I Porter, uh, headshots. And uh, then we obviously kind of usually fill in the metadata and description and so on, but uh, let's just get around with this. So um, if this is a, a, a client of mine, they would usually actually be working with either people with a password or people I choose. If it's people with a password, common sense, I just put the password in there. People I choose, I put his email address in. So for instance, here, I'm just going to put this as uh, Panda123. Uh, and I'll just put all caps. And they'll obviously need to have that password to be able to get into that gallery anyway. So let's just go now kind of following through. So photo protection. And I'm just going to say, well, you can have uh, just the extra large to actually view on here. I'm going to right click protect them. I'm going to apply them with a watermark. And let's put choose the MC watermark one. And uh, oh, I'm just going to choose the strip, in fact. And we're going to go here. This is the key one. This is the download button. So I can actually say to on. And do they require a password to download that as well? So I could add a secondary password. Or if I hadn't protected the gallery, it would have stopped them from doing it. But at this point, I can actually just do uh, Panda678. Uh, and that will allow them to then uh, have a release to those images straight away if I give them the the pass the password at any stage so I'm just going to uh, follow that down social can be on if we want click off the comments shopping is going to be um, on of course I'm just going to have a four day delay and just going through the appearance and quick create that's okay so now all I would need to do is double click into that new gallery click onto the upload photographs go ahead and drag some images in and let those upload now, why would you want to actually allow a client to use the download button? Well, this is a perfect example, in fact, of the options here. If you've got an all-inclusive price that they've paid ahead, then you don't really need the shopping cart on because they've paid you, say, £150 for six images or ten images or whatever it would be, and those are the ones you're actually popping up onto the gallery. If you uh, work in a different way where you're paying, let's say, the session fee they're paying you, and then they were buying the photographs as they go along, then obviously we wouldn't have the download option on there. And the reason we would be doing that of course we'd be encouraging them to pay for the uh, the separate download as we're going through so this is just a quick way for a client who's paid for a package to be able to actually download those photographs so if I just click into done here for a minute this will kind of bring me into the viewing option and you can see my logos in place as far as the watermarking is concerned if I right click them you can see that it kind of comes up with the option there but we do have the download button that is here okay so let me first of all just copy this across to another browser so we'll see it as the client looks at it and just paste that in and then of course I need to put in that password to go in to begin with and we can see it looks exactly the same here as far as we can click on any of the images they've all got the copyright on them and so on um, but we can also if we right click it comes up with no you can't do this but this is where we've got the download all button okay that's what we've just put on so if I clicked onto that it needs a new pass the password so this would obviously be uh, panda as we just did six seven eight and I'd have to actually put the e email address in here um, and then it would actually be uh, a message would be sent to us to actually have that link and things really so if I just put mark at uh, mark click on dot com and we send that mail that's it so a verification email has been sent to here and that's where we just actually go off and get that link then so this is my email and as you can see here all I need to actually do is click on to the download link and obviously save those files and that'll actually just start to download them as you can see from the top of the screen here so um, that's how simple it is to um, get our images as a, do a download from SmugMug, uh, specifically if you're including them in the likes of your packages or you need people to access to them. So I just click onto one of those images now, open that up, 
within Photoshop, you can see they've downloaded the full quality of the file, okay? Uh, the full resolution file with no copyright running. You must remember that, of course, when they're downloading the images. And how cool is that? So being able to download a whole gallery to your client's desk within minutes.